Yo, what is going on, guys? I have hit the mother load. Let's see. That's two Hidden Fates boxes. Um, yeah, we're going to set those out there. I actually found five, but I've already sold them, and I'll tell you why. We're also going to be having Vivid Voltage openings. Just want to throw that out there real quick. Uh, I'll tell you why I sold the other ones. Um, I'm going to start a new... Um, ideology i guess you'd say on the channel uh we're gonna try to see how much we're gonna sp see how much money we make back from what we spend basically so uh for these i actually have their seat somewhere i spent 134 dollars on all five boxes plus the vivid voltage that i found which is the two check lane boosters and four seal boosters I've sold three of the boxes already just to friends who, uh, you know, I knew would like it. So we've already made roughly $60 back out of the $134.95. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to try to see, basically the goal of this video is to see if we can make the rest of that money back, which is around roughly one, or not one, $75, I think. You can see the pins back here. And I'll show you this in Central right now. I recorded a video earlier where I opened the uh, Champions Path gym boxes. And it was a terrible video. I'm not even going to lie. I put no effort into it whatsoever. I really didn't want to record it. So I'm probably just going to delete the video. Because you've basically seen everything you needed to see right now. Uh, I showed you the card and I'll show you the gym badges up close. Because they're actually really cool. Go buy these if you find them. I mean it's Champions Path. So... You know, everybody loves a good Charizard, and it's got two in it. But, you know, other than that, I don't enjoy the set whatsoever. We're going to open two Vivid Voltage really quick. Uh, just We're going to, like, kind of even it out with uh, Vivid Voltage. So, we're going to see what we get. Let me move these out of the way a little bit over here, let's see. Uh, and like I said, we're going to try to make it up in our... Uh, make up the money we've spent basically it's kind of like a little game a little mini game basically that's, that's what we're going to go with so of course the vivid voltage is going to go in with my uh collection of vivid voltage if you've been watching the channel you'll know that i've started a master set of sorts of vivid voltage uh, if you do enjoy uh this video Make sure to go back and check out the other openings of vivid voltage i've done because we've got close to half of the set now i think and uh all the vivid voltage will be set up <gasps> galarian darmanitan v full art wow okay i know it, i just like totally cut myself off there but i mean when you get a good pull like that you kind of gotta shut up about it so let me get a sleeve right here we have cosmic clip sleeves wow let's check out the, the centering's pretty bad but uh i'll have to check on all the prices should pop up you know like on the side whenever uh the card is revealed you know how you know how youtubers do it uh it's in terrible condition for grading wise but since it's going in our collection it should be a good one uh, if you've been watching i have been in college or at my college dorm for the last several videos so uh that's why i've have a different setup i don't have a placemat or anything like that so yeah, just bear with me. Um, my last exam is Mondays, and today is Saturday, so should be going home soon, and I'm excited. So, Dialga Hollow Rare. I think that actually might be a card we were looking for. I'm not sure. So, that'll be good. Once you look at all these cards so often, sometimes it gets hard to tell like what cards you're missing and everything. But I'm going to try my best to keep you up to date. Uh, I don't think I'll do prices on hollow rares and reverse hollows i think i'll just keep it to full arts even though some of these hollow rares and reverse hollows on newer sets do have value uh, i just don't i think that would be more time consuming than we need right now so let's tear into this rachi box i also know these promos the rachi promos um uh, do have some value I'm trying to salvage this box because it is my box, you know. Uh, I actually think I will keep this box and probably put the promo back in it until that fateful day does come when I sell it. 
So let's, geez, it's so hard. Plastic. Okay, let's see. So there's your Rachi promo right there. We'll just leave that up as well. Uh, I know I just said I'll just keep the promo in there, but I'll probably just keep the jumbo. Uh, I really thought the code card would be behind the promo, but I guess not. Oh well. So set that right there. Let's get our packs out. There's the code card. That should be for a Rachi, as far as I'm aware. So I know everybody knows about the Charizard within the set, but there are a lot of other really cool set uh, cards in the set. In the subset, I should say. I've never really looked at the physical Hidden Fates card list, so uh, who really knows what's in that? But we're going for shiny cards because those are where the money's at. So that's what we're looking for right now. I think the Raichu card is like a $2 card, so there's that. So yeah, pulls from the back. Okay. Code card for Hidden Fates. Good luck with that if you get that. Okay. Nervous. Let's see what we get. Okay, turn it over. I've never opened Hidden Fates. This is literally the first time I've opened it. I had a friend whenever Hidden Fates first came out that was like, you need to buy this and keep it for a while and sell it. I called him crazy, but I regret it now. I'm sorry, friend. Tarmillion, Metapod, Jinx, Aranguru, Shiny. Good job there, bud. That's a nice one. And then... We <laughs> we had the other Rachu. Okay, well, uh, well, I don't, you'll know the values better than I do. But I really like the shiny, so I'm glad we got one shiny. So at least I won't feel too bad about buying all this now. Uh, if nothing else, just because I'll have a shiny. Is a Rangaru playable? I need to know because I'm playing a deck right now that's dark and water type i believe which i know is a rare combo but it came out of a building battle box i saw something super sparkly pretty excited don't know what that means but we'll find out one two three four one two i would rather have a shiny than just a regular ultra rare not gonna lie so holy crap it is so shiny okay let's see caterpie paris ekans duck star energy Gym, another gym. Ah, my hands. Metapod. <gasps> Beldum Shiny. Wow. Beldum is one of my favorite shinies in the Metagross line. And behind it, we have a Pinsir GX. We have had really good luck, I think. I, I don't think that's normal, like, to be getting that kind of luck. Wow. Dang. Hit the like button for these pulls. Wow. Okay, sorry, Rachu. You suck, so... The other Rachi, the promo Rachi is kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. But we do not have very many sleeves. Oh, Lord. I do have some promos, at least, from the earlier video that I was talking about that I can take out. Like, I, they're cool and all, but... Ah, oh, Lord. We don't even have enough room for everything. Jeez. Okay. So, like I said, uh, value should be on the screen somewhere. You know, I don't know where, but it'll be somewhere. Because I definitely don't know currently what they're worth. Uh, just, just me sitting here. Because I didn't even know Pinsir GX was in the set. Uh, so, yeah. But this Saturday, I will be packaging up. Well, it'll be sent off this next Saturday, a week from today. My first PSA submission. So, you should be on the lookout for a Guess the Grade type video. Uh, well... I'm not actually sure how I'll do it. I think I'll go ahead and record the uh, the the guessing part first, and then I'll record the uh, the results in a separate video. Graveler, Farfetch, Star U Reverse, and another Pincer GX. Wow. Okay. Well. Ah. Uh, I, mean, I guess you can't complain. So, an ultra rare is an ultra rare, but that is kind of funny. So, uh, but yeah, let me know how you're doing with your uh, Vivid Voltage openings. I know a lot of people were telling me that they hadn't had theirs come in yet, which I thought was a little odd. I'm not going to lie, but, you know, I don't distribute, so. Oh, shoot, my lot. 
Uh, so I couldn't really swear to it. Now this is one of the checkout lane blisters. If you've ever opened one of these, uh, this specifically, I don't know if it's the same with the others, but these promos go together. So here, Grookey's getting the berries. Here, Cinderace is getting the berries, or Score Bunny's getting the berries. You can kind of see that. And then the one with Sobble, which is on the three pack blister, Sobble's crying because there's no berries left, as far as I know. Uh, I have opened the three pack blisters on the channel before, so uh, you can go tell me if you want to in the comments down below. So there is the Grookey card. Uh, I'm going to keep that here until I have more time to delicately take it out and hopefully not use up all my sleeves for one. But it has a cool Rachu coin. It goes along with our Rachu boxes we're opening. So let's see what we get here. Uh, the Darmanitan is definitely going in the collection. Uh, I didn't have a Darmanitan yet, so that's we have at least one. And I think the Dialga is as well. Two, three, four, one, two. Let's see what we get. Come on, Pikachu. Still haven't got that Pikachu, but it's okay. Boltor, Rockra, Wismer, Trubbish, Energy, Go Go, Parathorn, Dusclops, Yanma, and Alakazam Beef. I don't know if that's full art or not, but wow. We're getting some good stuff today. Look at this. We have, oh my gosh, we have uh, hits stacked up on top of each other. Holy crap. There's like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight ultra rare hits. Like, where do I even put this? Because I want to highlight the shinies, you know, but I want to highlight the ultra. Oh my gosh. I'm about to hop really late over here. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to get another box out of my dang stash over here and just to have a place to put my ultra rares. Jeez. I do wish I had like a downer facing cam so I could like space out that kind of stuff better because that does actually bother me a little bit that they're just kind of stacked up on top of each other. But, you know, I can't really do anything about it right now. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to enjoy the opening. Can't complain. Even if the other Raichu box doesn't do anything for us, like we've had really good luck. So, you know, it's going to be tough to get mad about it. But I don't know if we've made our money back yet or not. I'm thinking we're closer than I was afraid we might get. Especially with that Alakazam. I think that Alakazam is like a double digit card. Uh, the Darantan might be as well. So we'll see what we get. Matang, Mariana, Beauty, Sarchester Bath, and Vaporeon. Okay. Hidden Fates. Let's get back into it. I think we've probably... It feels like we've pulled every non-rare card out of the main Hidden Fates set, if that makes sense. Because the Shinies are a different subset, you know. Uh, I'll show you up close in just a second. Hopefully we get another Shiny I can show you better up close. Okay. We haven't got a GX Shiny, but I can't complain still. Geodude, Clefairy, Eevee, Ekans, Energy, Charmeleon, Metapod... Jinx, Geodude, and Zapdos Hollow. That's a pretty cool hollow, I'm not going to lie. Uh, uh, I would sleeve it, but I don't have enough. I'm, I'm going to save the sleeves, but I'm going to keep it off to the side. Oh, I see something shiny. Will it be Charizard? Let me know down in the comments below. If we get Charizard, I'm going to go total clickbait. Not even going to lie. And I'm going to put, like, we got Charizard in the title. That's it. And we're just going to see what happens. Maybe I get over 100 views. We'll see. Oh, it's tempting me. Jigglypuff, Ekans, Coughing, Cubone, Geodude, Energy, Brock's Grit, Scyther, Jinx, <gasps> Noivern GX. Wow, I love Noivern. I'm so glad we got that one. And we got Stormy GX behind it. What is this luck? Holy crap. Look at that. Wow. Leave a like for this, man. Like, who gets this kind of luck? Oh, my gosh. My friends that I sold the other boxes to, they're going to be mad. Because if they didn't get what, if they didn't get good pulls, you know, it's going to be rigged. Because, uh, hey, they, they said they didn't want a Raichu box. So, I got to give them what they want. So, I did have a Charizard box. And I know the Charizard promo is worth a good dollar or two. Like, 
that's an extreme underestimate there. It's actually worth a, a very large sum. But yeah, so they wanted Charizard and they wanted Gyarados and Raichu. So hey, I can only do what they want. So not my fault that they didn't want the Raichu box. Raichu's where it's at. So speaking of Raichu, actually, while I'm opening up this pack, I've heard there's like a, a myth, like potential myth, potential like conspiracy card basically of like a Wizards of the Coast promo of Raichu before they released a base set, like a pre-release Raichu from base set. I don't know if that's true, but if that is, that's really cool. Uh, it doesn't have the pre-release stamp on it if it is true because I've tried to look it up and it's not, like I can't find it. I do actually have the pre-release Aerodactyl from Fossil. That's pretty cool. That's going to be on the guest of grade, I believe. So, Pokemon Center Lady and Mr. Mom. So, that's going to be a pretty cool uh, thing to get graded. Uh, I think it's actually, like, super valuable if it comes back really high grade. So, like, much more valuable than I anticipated when I thought I was going to get graded. So, yeah. That's probably going to pay for a lot of my cards. More shininess in the back. Gosh dang it. How do we keep getting such good luck? Okay. Charizard, please. Show your face. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm still going to be grateful no matter what. We got so much. Psyduck, Clefairy, Magikarp, Ekans, Voltorb, Energy, Misty's Determination, Bug. <gasps> okay, it's so hot. Charmeleon, Brock's training. Dang it, no Charizard. Oh, he did get a Mewtwo GX, which is still cool. Okay, I'll take it. It's not the Mewtwo that you really just am dying to have in Hidden Fates because there is a shiny Mewtwo, but I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Wow, look at that. Okay. So let's... Oh, jeez. Here are the uh, Sun and Moon. Opening one pack of every Sun and Moon. Just because I'll get bitter if I don't have this kind of luck and then I want to open more. It's one of those kind of deals. Like, that's the reason I don't want to open just a ton of Champions Path because I know the more that I don't get the Zard, the more I want to open. There is uh, another Raichu coin and the Score Bunny promo that I showed you earlier. So, yeah. I mean, I totally get opening Champions. Oh, what is. Oh, crap it. What is going on with this? It's like a miscut pack or something the cards might be messed up dang it i really don't think it's resealed because i mean that store i went to has a sign up that says they don't take uh returns for uh the they don't take returns for tcg products anymore so i really don't think anything's been like tampered with or anything but it's just kind of annoying that the cards could potentially be damaged yanma Larian Meow, Duskull, Voltorb, Weedle, Energy, Aromatic Energy, Heroes Metal, Hit My Top, Reverse Hollow B, don't need that, and Tracheon. Okay. So, you can barely even see my Hollow Rare stack, but I just needed the room, I'm not going to lie. So, uh, th none, of that, none of those cards are needed for the collection. So, we'll see what the Celebi's got in store for us. The pack's super high up in the, the sleeve for some reason. It's kind of odd, but I noticed little things like that that normally that really don't matter at all. So, But, you know, I just notice them because that's just who I am, I guess. So, Anyways, last pack. Can we get an Amazing Rare? Can we get Pikachu? Can we get another Shiny Oranguru? Because there is a Secret Rare Shiny Oranguru in this set. Let's see. Let's find out. Last pack magic. Here we go. Can't complain even if we get nothing because we've had such good luck already. Leave a like if you've enjoyed because this has been absolutely wild. And the more you give me likes, the more I can actually open cards. Not even going to lie because it justifies me buying all these packs. So please do consider leaving a like and subscribing. So, oh. Larian Stunfisk, Reverse Hollow B, seen that before, and Hollow Zara Aura. I actually do think this needs to be in our collection. Uh, this is a card we're going to have to add, so that's nice. 
Hey guys, this is Jerry again. Uh, future Jerry, actually, after the video was initially recorded. I completely, completely forgot the whole purpose of this video was to uh, uh, talk about the final value of everything. So I want to go through and show all the cards one more time and have like value up on the screen with it. And then we're going to talk about, and then I'm going to like list the final profit because I don't have the numbers in front of me. But uh, I'm going to set them off this way. Set that down. I'll set them off this way so the the numbers should be on this side of the screen. Uh, the value for both. We have two of the pincers. Let me look through and find it so I can take it out. Uh, yeah, and then we're gonna I'm gonna display on the screen uh, the profit versus the um, the profit versus the um, cost of all the cards. So we're gonna see how that goes. We have two of the Rachus. Their promos, so they will probably be a smaller number. And then we have Rachu here, okay. We have Galarian Darmanitan. Anything that I think has value from the opening, I want to include just so we can have like a true uh, representation of what you can get out of these packs. Basically, I think it'll be a good like educational piece. But it'll also be like kind of cool to see the logistics of it, I guess. The monetary logistics. Uh, this one, the Neuver GX, there's a good chance I go ahead and get this one graded and sell it that way. Uh, just because it has more value. There's a good chance the Neuver could actually pay for the opening by itself graded. So I'll let you know on that one more. I'll let you know on that in the future, like what decision I make. Not for the Neuver specifically, but... For cards in general, because that does uh, the value should be on screen. Uh, what I paid should be here. What the cards are worth should be here, and then the profit or loss should be down here. Okay. Well, thank you guys again for watching. Sorry I forgot, uh, but uh, let me know if you enjoy this style of the the monetary top uh, video and more monetary centric. Uh, I know I enjoy that at times. Sometimes it gets kind of bothersome, but uh, I know others enjoy it a lot. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Once again, hit that thumbs up, you know, match mine and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Peace.